welcome to artificial intelligence class in today's class we will see the weighted a star search and in this class i will explain what is weighted a star search how it is different from a star search and let us see one example for weighted a star search also before the weighted a star search let us see some of the drawbacks of a star searching technique okay a star is one of the best searching technique and it will always find the optimal solution okay but the a star is also having some drawbacks it expands lot of nodes to find the optimal solution okay hence it takes more time and space to complete its algorithm or to find the optimal solution okay the time complexity and space complexity are very high in a star search so to overcome this we will move to weighted a star search a star search always produce an optimal solution suppose if we are okay with sub optimal solution we can move to weighted a star search okay that is the weighted a star search will give only the satisfying solution okay because it uses in admissible heuristic that is we are adding some additional weight to the heuristic value okay the heuristic value will be more heavily by adding some weight right hence it reduces the number of nodes to expand and always it goes towards the goal okay the evaluation function of weighted a star search is f of n which is equal to g of n plus w into h of n where w is nothing but weight the weight value should be greater than 1 okay hence it always leads towards the goal state let us see one example that how this weighted a star search to reach the goal with exploring minimum number of nodes okay here we are having two uh, graph the first one is a star search and second one is weighted a star search okay a is for uh, a star search and b is for weighted a star search here in this grid the gray bars represent the obstacles see these are all gray bars which represent the obstacles and the purple line is the path from uh, start to goal see this is the start node green dot is represent the start node and this red dot represent the goal node okay here also we are having see green uh, that is start start node and this is the goal node and this purple line represent path of a star a star okay this path represent the path of weighted a star graph okay and the small dots are states that were reached by the each is search see there are many number of small dots see the gray dots represent the states okay that should be explored to identify the path see when come to a star so many small dots are there so if we implement a star search we need to explore all these states to find the goal okay see this is the boundary in this diagram you can easily find the small dots in the uh, and these small dots are nothing but the states so this is starting state the green dot represent starting state and the red dot represent goal state and the purple line is nothing but path path of a star algorithm okay see when come to a star search it have to explore more number of states to find the goal isn't it almost it explored all the states right when come to weighted a star search this is starting and this is goal state see it explores very minimum number of states to reach the goal right so it reduces seven times uh, fewer states to find the path and it is 
5 percent more costly when compared to ester search because we need to add weight to the heuristic value hence weighted ester search is 5 percent more costly when compared to ester search. The function of weighted A star search is f of n which is equal to g of n plus w into h of n where w greater than 1 always that leads towards the node which is closer to the goal. So, this is the starting node and this is n and this is goal. Okay. There may be more number of other nodes also there inside the network. right? And here the cost from starting node to n current node is called as g of n okay that is the computed cost or original cost and h of n h of n is nothing but the estimated cost or assumed cost from current node to goal node and in this estimated cost we need to multiply the w value Okay, why because this uh, assumed heuristic after multiplying the weight will find the very much closer node which leads to goal node. Okay, so it always finds with low heuristic value okay, but it not, does not completely ignore the G cost. So, this is the original cost. Okay, so the W a star that is the weighted A star always give some flatter search when compared to other algorithms. Okay, the path of start to goal uh, will be almost straight line when compared to all the other algorithms. Okay, hence we can easily reach the goal node. The only drawback of weighted A star search is it does not find the optimal solution. Now let us compare the weighted A star search with all other searching algorithms that is heuristic searching algorithm. Okay? Suppose if weight value is equal to 1 then this is called as A star search. See the formula f of n equal to g of n plus h of n this is um, the A star search. If weight value is equal to 0 then this is uniform cost search. Okay? See f of n which is equal to g of n plus 0 into h of n. Okay, 0 into h of n will be always 0. Hence, this is f of n equal to g of n. Hence, this is uniform cost search. And the greedy best first search f of n equal to h of n. When w equal to infinity, then this is called as greedy best first search. The weighted A star search. If w value is greater than 1, then this is called as weighted A star search. Up to this we have seen the weighted A star search from the second unit problem solving by searching and in this class we have seen the drawbacks of A star search and definition of weighted A star search and we have seen one simple example also and also we have compared our weighted A star search with all other searching algorithms. In the next class we will see another important topic from uh, second unit. Thank you.